Hello, Aries viewers. So I'm looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you. Um, and these are the cards that we got. So as most of you know, there are two paths ahead. Um, there's, you know, the old person, the ex, maybe someone you have a history with, and then there's also somebody new coming in that's probably going to match your energy a bit more than the old person is. This is a collective energy I've been getting in most of my Zodiac readings, so I'm going to just reiterate that for you guys. You know, it's ultimately your choice if you want to go with the old or with the new, but I'm, I'm telling both stories on this page. So this is what we've got so far, and I'll pull a new spread to tell you about um, new love coming in as well. So I think in the past or maybe in the present that there could be somebody that's been afraid of commitment, maybe kind of just hiding their feelings um, on the fence, not willing to tell you how they feel, not willing to risk, risk getting hurt. And I think you're kind of just starting to focus more on finances and career and improving your life and doing the things that you want to do in your life. You do have a telepathic um, connection coming in. I think this is something that you've been manifesting I think that you've been channeling this person, maybe connecting with them um, in, the, in the 5D, connecting astrally, telepathically, kind of feeling this energy of new love coming in, even if it hasn't physically manifested yet. I think you're just in this process where you're, you're setting strong boundaries and you're staying true to yourself and deciding what you want and you're realizing you don't want this anymore. So remember um, in the last video I did for Aries, I got that there are two potential life partners that are coming in um, probably this year actually. And one of them I believe is going to be someone from your past and then you have a new person coming in. Now I think it's, it's up to you to decipher but I think that one of them, even though they are a potential life partner, there might just be some passion that's missing or it just might not be everything that you think it would be. I think maybe you have this hope and you have this, this, you know, feeling that you're being led to this person, that this person is your true love, um, your life partner, and, and you very well could be right, but I do feel a second life partner that's actually even better for you. So, the, you know, the choice is yours, but I think that this other life partner is actually somebody, um, who's afraid of commitment and they've been hiding their feelings. And I think you're just starting to to kind of trust the process more, like if it's meant to be, it'll be. You're, you're trying to let go of control issues, focusing on finances and career and, and self-empowerment. And with that, we have new perspective, listening and understanding. True love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. So yeah, you, you reclaiming your power, you setting boundaries, you staying true to yourself, you focusing on your passions and hobbies and the things that you love um, is getting you in this very, um, you know, just empowered, seductive kind of energy where the world is just your oyster and you can manifest what you want. And here we have happiness, warmth, and light. So I think as you, you know, the more you're focusing on the things that you love and on yourself, the more you're getting into this energy of just going with the flow of, of synchronicity, you know, everything just kind of aligning, you know, just being in the right place at the right time, everything just coming in for you really quickly, just this open-minded, um, you know, just this, this faith, bravery, um, just open-mindedness. It's just really this, this empowered energy that we have here is just really, um, manifesting things for you right now. You're, you're really getting into that energy. And I think you're going to manifest somebody who kind of just sees you as their angel. You know, they, they see your happiness and your warmth and your light. And I feel like you're also reclaiming that part of yourself too. It's like maybe you're trying to let go of the damage and the bitterness. You're trying to heal yourself. You're trying to to get into this, this light, high vibrational energy where you're... Um, I think, you, I think you're realizing that you if you keep tolerating less than you deserve, then you're always going to be frustrated and upset and you're you're always going to be showing the worst side of yourself because you're hurt. And, and so you're trying to protect your energy more so that you can, um, you know, put this warm, loving energy out in the universe. You know what I mean? You're realizing that you can't let people keep damaging you and hurting you um, and expect to be able to... to keep having this good energy you know what I mean because you're becoming so damaged from these people it's like 
if you want someone to be your angel, you, you know, you can't, angels don't live in hell. What is that quote? Like you can't expect an angel to live in hell. You know what I mean? Um, and so, yeah, you're, you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your energy more. You're, you're using it more, more wisely. You're trying to go with the flow, flow more. And I think as you do this, you're manifesting this connection that's just happiness, warmth, light, somebody who sees all the good in you um, and, and taking it slow and kind of pulling them in and staying in your power and getting to know each other. And I think that this is a psychic connection. You know, dreams, visions, telepathy, they might know you're coming, you know they're coming. It's like you can feel this energy. Um... Maybe you're having dreams about love or you're just, you just feel something is just around the corner. Like you just have this sense of them, even if you're not like fully aware of it. It's like you can feel it. You feel that energy. You feel that love that's coming for you, that's meant for you. You know, make your move green light. Again, very passionate, very romantic relationship here. And I think that this other person that you're kind of, I don't know how much you're letting go of them, but it's like you're just kind of realizing that they're, they're stagnant and you're, you know, you're, it's kind of, you're kind of getting into this, this energy of like, you know, if it's meant to be, it'll be, I don't want to keep staying in this pattern with these people that are afraid of, of being with me. And I think that as this new love comes in for you, I think it's what you're going to be choosing. And I think this other person that kind of messed things up is going to feel isolated and lonely and empty. And they're going to realize they messed it up and they're going to want to communicate with you. They're going to want to come forward and be open and honest and communicate but but might be too late at that point because you have this very this very psychic connection with somebody and you're going to be kind of taking it slow and putting effort into seeing what they're all about and so I don't think you're going to want to mess it up for somebody like that you're not going to want to mess what you've got over going on over here with this person through that person it's not going to be worth it to you I don't think um I'm gonna pull a few more cards What else can we say about the new person? I think you guys will both be ending these patterns and having these breakthroughs. Like maybe they are mirroring you and they have these patterns with people too. And they're going to be ending those patterns just as you are um, ending patterns with like exes in the past. I think that's what's ending. And then we have uh, choosing your words wise, choosing their words wisely and planning their approach. So again, you guys are going to be kind of taking it slow. It seems like they're going to be getting to know you. But I feel like it's going to start really slow and then it's going to go fast just out of nowhere. It's like the synchronicity, I think, is really strong in this connection. Like everything is just going to align perfectly for you guys. Like just right place, right time, just divine intervention. Like you just, you might find yourself just talking to this person and be kind of blown away. Like, wow, it's really here. It's really happening. Um, just, I just see synchronicity is just really strong in this, this, the energy I'm getting for this reading it's like everything just align, the universe just aligning perfectly, their guides and your guides, just bringing this together. It's like you're just going to find yourself um, someplace that you may, maybe usually wouldn't be or in some, some event you usually wouldn't go to. And it's like just destiny, just, just right, right place, right time, just everything aligning just to make this connection happen. And, and yeah, you guys are going to be getting to know each other at first. Like maybe just, they might be planning their approach, trying to figure out how to talk to you. But you know, you both have, I think you're both very passionate, very strong, very confident. You've got a lot of willpower and you're working on your confidence. You're reclaiming your confidence. But, um, but yeah, we have fast moving energy, uh, like sudden turn of events here. Like it could be coming in with a moon cycle too, maybe a certain planetary cycle that's going to bring this new love in. But it's just it happens quickly is what I'm getting here. That's what I'm getting with the with the willpower, strength, and confidence card. And look at her; it's like she manifested this too. Um, it's like you guys are manifesting each other. I think you're both praying for each other. You're both wanting each other. Um, even if you haven't met yet, you might just be psychically aware of their presence and they're psychically aware of your their presence. Like you just have this feeling like, oh, I'm going to meet someone soon, you know? And like, look how this is like, it almost looks like she's like levitating. Like she's just, she's so powerful and she's manifesting this connection and this person is manifesting you. So, so yeah, you have true love coming in. 
It's um, it's a really good energy. You've you've got true love here. You've got a, a divine telepathic connection here. And again, it's probably gonna, it might start out. It, I think synchronicity is gonna play, be at play, and I think it's gonna start kind of a little bit slowly, but it's gonna move fast. Like as you guys talk, you're just gonna you're gonna find yourself talking all night to this person, and you're just gonna find your you guys are just gonna this connection is gonna get deep really quickly. Is what I kind of feel from this. But I feel like it's it's a stable connection, although the, the passion is there too. So it's it's the best of both worlds. Um, if this resonates, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want a paid private reading, my email is below. Thanks for watching.